welcome to my new tips and tricks. Now, <clears throat> this was going to be a lesson. I got overconfident and thought I could throw it off anything with anything. Uh, I was going to show you how to do it, but it didn't actually work for me. Um, I'll get it there in the end, but it's uh, much more complicated than I thought it was ever going to be. And that's drip photography. Now, that doesn't sound difficult, take a picture of a drip, etc. But anyway, if you want to try it, and what we might do, what would be fun, is if you try it with the same gear as me and see what result you can get. You can, you can get. Um, now, the tip is to go to your chemist and get a drip feed uh, that people use when they're ill. Now, that's much easier than a dropper or anything, and also the drip will stay in the same place all the time. It'll just drip, drip, drip. So you drip the drop, if you see what I mean? So you drip the drop. Right. Now let's have a go. I'll just show you how I how I made a disaster of it. But anyway, here we go. Well, this is about as good as I got after about an hour and a half of trying. So the first thing is with the, the nozzle is to start. Uh, so we open up the drip, and we'll start by siphoning. Now you've all done that, haven't you? We've all been siphoning petrol. Hmm. So if I do that, you see it's now it's now running happily. I don't know if you can see that, but no, anyway, it is. Um, so we'll pop that back in there. And now when I open it up, the drip will always find the right place to drop. Now I can organise it so there's one drip, two drips, etc., etc. So that makes that easy rather than a tube, etc. Now as long as your glass full of water is higher than this outlet, it actually doesn't make any difference where the rest of the pipe work is. So we had this, we had a, a fish bowl, a little fish aquarium. Um, I, don't worry, I, I took the fish out and put him down the toilet first. <laughs> Didn't really. Um, right, so we used the fish bowl. I used one flash head through tracing paper. I had the tracing paper here. Um, and then why one flash head? Because, well, it has to be a fast, a fast type of flash, and I've only got one of those. I've got plenty of slower flashes in the studio flash, but I've only got one of those. Really, it needs two, one there and one there. But it's not a lesson, it's to show you how things go wrong. But I thought it might be fun if you've got one flash head, nip down to your chemist, get one of these drip things, and then you can quite happily there you go. Then you can quite happily take some pictures, like I've done. You can do a video reply to this film, and just by putting a few pictures together, make it into a video. And we could all have a look at each other's stuff, can we? What you can do one with one head, no cheating, no special things, because actually what you need is a little computerised gizmo that uh, drops strips, or drops strips, drips or drops. Um, every millisecond or something, it's very complicated, I've looked into it, um, it's, it's hypnotising. We can all look at each other's stuff and now if that works, if enough of you do it, um, I might do a sort of monthly photo challenge on it. So that could be interesting, we'll see if it works. Right, see you soon, cheers.